The posterior triangle of the neck is the triangular space on the side of neck behind the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Its apex is directed upwards and backwards towards the mastoid process and the base downwards towards the clavicle. Boundaries Anterior is bounded by the posterior border of sternocleidomastoid muscle. Posterior is the anterior margin of trapezius muscle. Inferiorly is bounded by the superior aspect of middle third of the clavicle. The floor of posterior triangle is muscular and is formed from above downwards by the following muscles. Semispinalis capitis Splenius capitis Levator scapuli, scalenus medius, and on a small area, the scalenus anterior is also observed. Most of scalenus anterior lies behind the inferior extremity of sternocleidomastoid muscle. Keep in mind that between scalenus anterior and scalenus medius is a space called the scalene hiatus. Through this hiatus passes the subclavian artery and trunks of brachial plexus. In front of the scalenus anterior passes the phrenic nerve, which is oriented vertically, and the subclavian vein, which is oriented horizontally. At this level, the subclavian vein receives the external jugular vein. The posterior triangle is subdivided into two parts by the inferior belly of homohyoid, which crosses the lower part of the triangle obliquely upwards and forwards. The larger upper part is called occipital triangle. The small lower part is called subclavian triangle or the supraclavicular triangle. In the occipital triangle are present the following structures. The occipital artery is a branch of external carotid artery. It crosses the apex of the triangle superficial to the semispinalis capitis. Some occipital lymph nodes are present around the artery. The spinal accessory nerve comes in the region after pierces the sternocleidomastoid muscle, then lies on the levator scapuli, ultimately disappearing under the anterior border of trapezius. Some lymph nodes are present along the spinal accessory nerve. Dorsal scapular nerve arises from C5 root of brachial plexus. It pierces the scalenus medius and runs laterally across it to pass deep to levator scapuli, which it supplies. From under the mid-third of the posterior border of sternocleidomastoid muscle, four cutaneous branches of cervical plexus are appearing in the region. Those are the lesser occipital nerve, which is directed upwards, the greater auricular nerve, which is directed anterosuperiorly towards the angle of mandible. The transverse cervical nerve is directed anteriorly. And the supraclavicular nerve, which is directed inferiorly. This nerve soon splits into three branches. In the subclavian triangle, Apart from the structures already indicated, are also present the transverse cervical artery, a branch of the tyrocervical trunk, the transverse cervical vein, a tributary to the external jugular vein, and numerous supraclavicular lymph nodes.